Uh, what do you think is the biggest mistake that people make when they're using idle? And I know you've seen a lot of them over 30 years. <laughs> no, I, I think the biggest mistake, uh, there were two, uh, probably, there's probably several, but one of the biggest mistakes, as I mentioned before, is taking everything literally. You, you really have to, you really have to apply idle. It's not something that you just take out of the books and apply it as it's written or use it as it's written. Uh, it's not a rule book. It's a set of guidelines. Uh, I think that's one of the most important. The, the second mistake is that I see, especially today, is using the tool as a substitute for applying the practices. Um, in fact, some of the tool vendors will even tell you, ah, don't worry about ITIL, it's all embedded in the tool. And that's a huge mistake because there is no tool that can manage the political the, the, the political nuances within your organization. There is no tool that understands the sentiment of people who are using your services. There's no tool that understands the meaning of a particular activity in the context of your organization. That, those are things that we have to understand. Those are things that we have to do. And not even AI tools understand those things. Um, and they can't learn those things either, um, because if they did, then uh, Alexa would still not be recommending that I buy something that I already bought three months ago. So, no, AI doesn't understand those things and tools don't understand those things. These are the things that we have to understand. We have to apply when we're using ITIL. So to me, that's that's probably the second biggest mistake. And then the third biggest mistake is focusing too much on the internals. So confusing the performance improvements that we're making internally with things that are valuable to our customers in the business. We really have to take more of an outside in perspective rather than just assuming that if what we're doing is good, therefore everybody's gonna love it and it's gonna be good for everybody. You can't make that assumption. You have to start with what are the business priorities? What are our leaders expecting of us? And then, customizing your application of the ITIL principles and practices to meet what's important to those parts of the organization. I would say those are probably the three biggest ones.